Hi everyone, my name is April and today I'm showing you how I made this padded bandeau bikini top. This tutorial does get a little bit complicated, so I'll try to explain things the best I can. Here are the materials I used. A quarter yard of black swim fabric, a quarter yard of a swim fabric of your choice, a quarter yard of mesh netting, a quarter yard of foam interfacing, some fold over elastic, and two bikini clips. Let's get started. The first thing I did was use an old bandeau I had to trace out my pattern pieces. I understand that not everyone has this at home, but use whatever you have. This top is very similar to a bra, so you can even trace a bra you like, preferably one with no wire. The tool I'm using is called a tracing wheel and what it does is leave indents in the paper so I can see where the markings are and draw in the lines. After tracing and finalizing every single piece, add your seam allowance and make a sample bikini first to see if everything will work out. Before cutting out the printed fabric, I decided how I wanted the print to be laid out on the bikini. It was kind of hard to visualize, so I cut out the cups from the foam first and placed them underneath the tropical print so I can see the shape of it. To make the cups, you need two foam interfacing, two of the tropical print, and two black pieces for the lining. Lay the tropical print on top of the foam and the black lining underneath, then sew all of them together. Next, I serge all the raw edges and this is going to help flatten the foam around the edges and give it a finished look. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch on your machine. Moving on, sew the center front piece and the side back pieces together. Then I sew on the cups by matching up the markings on my pattern. I place markings at the bottom of the cups where it meets the seam. I'm only going to sew the back half of it on right now because we still need to add the fold over elastic along the top. This fold over elastic is so easy to use and creates such a clean finish. All you have to do is fold it over your raw edges and top stitch it down from the right side of the bikini. This next part is kind of hard for me to explain, but I'm adding a small lining to the center front because that's how they did it on my bandeau. I first sewed the lining piece right sides together along the top and then understitched it so that it stays down. Next, I sandwiched the two sides right sides together over one of the cups and sew all three layers down together.
After that, I closed up the rest of the area I didn't sew down yet. And for the other side of the bikini, I just sewed the cup down first. And then I hand sewed the lining down because it was really challenging trying to sandwich it. To finish off the lining, I just fold under the raw edges and hand sew it into the seam line. Next, top stitch a seam allowance down along the cups. Finish off the bottom with some fold over elastic. I actually messed up here and stretched the elastic as I sewed and it ended up gathering the fabric. So make sure not to stretch the elastic because all the fabric you're working with already has a lot of stretch in it. Next I tried the bikini top on and stretched it to almost fit my back. Then I trimmed the extra fabric away so I can add the back pieces. This is the design I created for the back. To make it, I cut out 4 pieces out of black swim fabric. Take 2 pieces and sew them together along the inside U using a stretch or zigzag stitch. Next, I clip the curve making sure not to cut the seam and then I flip the 2 pieces right sides out and then top stitch the U down with a zigzag stitch. To finish off the top and bottom, I sew an elastic along the raw edges and then fold over and hem. You can add the back hooks now or at the very end, but it's very simple to do. You just slide it through, fold over the ends and sew it down to lock them in place. Keep in mind when designing the back, the ends need to be the same size as the hooks you're using so that it can slide through. And for the other side of the bikini, just fold the raw edges back and sew down at a quarter inch to create a little pocket for the clips to hook onto. Lastly, I sew the back pieces on top of the mesh and then to hide the raw edges, I wrap the fold over elastic around the front and back and sew it down. For the straps, I'm just using some detachable bra straps and sewed little loops in the front and back so it can hook on. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more DIY fashion, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!